Black Thought, and I'm your host, Dr. Hutchinson. I hope you enjoyed our new intro and our new theme. It's our theme. It's our Black Thought theme. No one else has it. No one else has heard it until just now. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. This is our new stamp on this show. First of all, let me tell you, I'm glad that you're watching. Glad for your support. Thank you so much uh, for your prayers. And we're glad to be on this platform each and every day, 10 a.m. weekdays. Good to see you. And wherever you may be, just keep this time locked in so that you can be with us. Let me do a few quick housekeeping things. Let me do a few quick housekeeping things for you. First of all, there are several ways to contact this show. You can do it by going to our Facebook page, MUTV1 Black Thought. MUTV1 Black Thought. If you go there, you will see the contact on our Facebook, con yes, content rather. On our Facebook page, you'll see the various things that we have done across the month. You will see contacts and you will see connections to some of the thoughts and some of the conversation that we've had on this show. So we encourage you to go there, MUTV1 Black Thought. When you go there, you'll see a link to our YouTube channel. Yes, a lot of the content that we have done over the course of the past few months is there. And we're constantly upgrading and uploading every day. So keep it locked there. Keep checking for upcoming shows, past shows. You see right now, as you look at the screen, that is our Facebook page, and you see the link on the Facebook page, getting ready to open up, of our YouTube channel. So we have it all there. You can watch us. You can see what we've been doing. If this is your first time viewing the show, you will be able to go there, and you'll be able to see some of what we've done. So keep it there. Secondly, if you want to contact me, feel free to email me at blackthought.mutv1 at yahoo.com. It's long, but it's with a purpose. Blackthought, the name of the show in one word, dot mutv1, Memphis's first black-owned television station, at yahoo.com. Several of you have reached out, continue to do so. You can reach us there. Also, I am the proud pastor of First Baptist Church of Lauderdale, in that great hamlet of South Memphis, right across the street from the Booker T. Washington High School. And so if you want to reach me there, the number is 523-0501. But of course, if you call there now, you miss me because I'm looking at you in HD video. So keep it locked right here. And also, if you want to get me directly, the number is 249-9995. 249-9995. Nine 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 five. Also need to add another plug. As I told you last week, I am one of the nominees in the best media television personality. Me, yes, hard to believe. Only been doing this a few months, but me, one of the nominees for the Best in Black Awards for Best te Television Media Personality. That's number forty-seven on that voting list. Go to bestinblackawards.com we're going to put the link on our Facebook page and also put it in other places go there vote for me you can vote once a day once a day they take your name they take your email address so if you go there vote for me remember me and I'm honored that I've been nominated in the first place because this time last year wasn't doing this wasn't thinking about doing this but look at what God has done, and it's all because of you. So thank you so much. Now, let me get to our fantabulous guest. I know fantabulous is not in the dictionary, but preachers make up words all the time. So let me get to our guest. We are so honored to have with us singer-songwriter extraordinaire, Mrs. Greta Thompson Campbell, praise the Lord. Good to have you in our midst. <laughs> Thank you. It's a blessing to be here. Yes, ma'am. When, when we get into this interview and start talking about what she has done, you are going to be inspired today. Well, uh, Sister Campbell, first of all, uh, let's talk about how you got started uh, singing. Let's open that up. Let, let's go all the way back to the <laughs> beginning. Okay. I am a product of two very strong-willed, determined parents that strive to do the best that they could for their kids. 
and my father, he was a pastor, as a minister, and we traveled everywhere. So you're a PK? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Keep going. So it's like I grew up in the choir stand. The podium was just so high, I just had to look up. I couldn't see what I, but I was up there. <laughs> so <laughs> now when I'm in the congregation, it just don't feel right. I'm just so used to being behind behind the pastor. So I grew up in the choir scene. I've been singing all of my life. I think I can take myself back to about five years old. Have mercy. So you really can't remember a time in which you weren't in the choir. No, sir. And so now that has led you to being involved with several choirs. So now walk us from when you move from just being in the church choir. What denomination was that? CME. CME, all right. One of the great denominations in our black church tradition. So walk us from when you, I guess, you know, moved from just being in the church choir mm -hmm. to kind of spreading your ministry and realizing that you had a gift that was wider and broader than just singing in the church choir. My gifts kind of evolved because I'm kind of a laid-back person. I try to humble my spirit a lot. So sometimes when God gives me things, they just slip away. So I had to, like, grasp on to that he was trying to use me. So I'm still singing in the church choir at home. Uh, my home church now is Blue Springs CME. Okay. And on um, our third Sunday, I go with my sister. That's... Um, Shady Grove seeing me, but I'm uh, currently now at uh, Anderson at United Methodist Church in Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. And um, I proudly have a song on that CD. We produce a CD, Anderson United Methodist. Okay. Why that first song on there? Uh, it's time to bless your name. Okay. Uh, that's my first pro um, uh, production. Okay. Written production. But as far as just it's, just, it's daily. The songs just come daily for years. I'm, I want to say for about 20 years. I am 47 on today. But for Happy about 20, birthday. thank you so much. Thank you. For about 20 years, I've just been writing. Just writing. He gives me like, God gives me the inspiration. Then it comes through words. And I sing it. And I, it's just like I can't get rid of it. It just it stays with me. It keeps turning. It keeps rolling. So. It's like, Lord, what is this? What are you trying to do? So in the midst of singing with church choir and traveling with um, Johnny Harvey and the Final Appeal, I sang with him. I sang also with uh, William Myers and Young People of Praise out of Meridian, Mississippi. Okay. So it's just like I'm a professional background singer. So I could take myself back about 15, 20 years from developing what God has, was created me to do, and that was to write music. That's an inspiration because now, rem, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you said Anderson United Methodist Church, right? Yes. Um, <clears throat> but all of you really in the, I guess, gospel music, choir music, uh, that is one of the anchor churches and anchor places of the Mississippi Mass Choir, is it not? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, did they do a recording there, or do they just rehearse there, or how does that work? We recorded there um, with Lily and Lily. Lily and Lily is one of the Mississippi Mass members. Mm -hmm. But we rehearsed there, because we are rehearsing now. We are getting ready to do a live recording. It's been 25 years, and this is the ninth recording. Okay. And it's going to be on October the 17th okay. in Jackson, Mississippi, down at the Thalia Mar Hall. Okay. And it starts at 730. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, so what we've heard from you is, and, and, and for those of you who are paying attention, I want you to see this. When the Bible talks about your gift will make room, mm -hmm. basically uh, what Sister Campbell has said, she was, I'll rephrase it just a little bit, kind of a reluctant, shy mm -hmm. uh, person to move out of just being in the church choir, but your gifts will make room and your gifts will push you out. Yes, so will. from singing in the church choir, probably somebody heard you say, why don't you come sing with us, that sort of thing. Yes. And then it just evolved. And now 
we haven't gotten to the present day yet. We're almost there, but now she's singing with different groups and she's made her way and is singing with the Mississippi Mass Choir amongst other groups and amongst other churches. But now I want to go back to something you said. Mm -hmm. You started talking about songwriting. Yes. First of all, everybody doesn't write. Mm -hmm. um, everybody doesn't have that gift. It is a gift. For some people, they can develop it when they become musicians and they're able to finally write something. Right. And other people, and it sounds like you're in this number, the Lord gives it to them. They don't ask for it. They don't plead for it. It's right. just one day the Lord starts depositing music. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like that's how it's come up out of you. And you said that basically for the last 20 years you've been writing something every day. Yes. And you know, some songwriters are upset with you right <laughs> now because they can't say that. You know, they label a piece of music for Eon, but you get fresh oil every day. Every so day. yours is like inspiration then. So mm -hmm. your process is it comes to you and then you continuously just kind of mold it, meld it, and shape it. Right. So do you get the words first? I'm, I'm talking through process now for those of you who are not aware of the importance of songwriting. Because without songwriters, you don't have songs. Real simple. Um, so we deal with process. So your process is that it comes to you through inspiration. Do you ever get the words first, music first? How, how does that work? Yeah, is it comes at different times? I'm just curious. It comes together. And when he gives it to me, it, I, I just can't turn it loose. I just sing that same loop over and over and over again. And it's normally the chorus. He gives me the chorus. And then from the chorus, I build the verses, and the verses tell the story, the real theme of what he want me to say. Oh, and I gotta try to fix it in that timeline so the song won't be too long, but I gotta get that whole message constructed in there. So there's an art mm -hmm. to writing a song yes. and to making it so that people will hear it in a reasonable time frame mm -hmm. that is not too long but that it'll meet them. And, and for those of you who listen to music and understand music, when you hear songs, especially when they're recorded live and when you hear different things, you hear the nuances of how the spirit, especially gospel music, may move and the song may lengthen, but the basic song usually is somewhere in the neighborhood of about four minutes, maybe five minutes, or maybe three, it depending on the song. And then through the inspiration, it may stretch the six, seven minutes. But the basic framework right. locks in at around, give or take, you know, some seconds, around four minutes. Would you say that? Four minutes, three and a half to four Yeah, minutes. that's right. Because, you know, back in the day, especially if you're trying to write a Motown hit, if it went past three and a half minutes, they give you the cut signal. It wouldn't pass muster. So just understand, that's the art form of it. But now let's, let me get to this. We've talked about you basically being born in the choir stand, right? Yes. <laughs> we talked about you singing back up and then starting to write. Mm -hmm. But now, at some point, with your gift making room, it became obvious that you needed some more push, you know, that you weren't a background singer per se. You can do it, but. You, it was time for you to take the lead. Let's talk about that process and bring us to today. Okay. I think, I believe I led my first song about 20 years ago, and that was at Anderson. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I shall do, I remember it, but that, um, I normally don't audition for songs, but it was just something that song, I shall do. Mm. I, I did it, and um, I've been singing lead ever since. But I, I am, I love to be in the back. I love to praise God. I have a humble spirit, but I have a loud praise. He said, make a joyful noise. And that's what I do. I want to give God my all. But so that push came for me to stand out front. And the gift that he gave me, I had just have to share it. Well, I've been around you a short time. And what you have just said is evident. It's not just conversation in terms of being humble, 
in terms of having a gift, but also in terms of the Lord doing this. Right. You know, because sometimes we hesitate, but I think yours is a fresh wind because so often in every genre of music, but then even in gospel music, sad to say, you have persons that forget that it's about the Lord and they think it's about them. Right. And that becomes evident not so much when you hear the music, but when you meet them. You know, I've been blessed to meet many people over the years in gospel music. Matter of fact, used to do gospel music, you know, actively, you know, outside of being a pastor. And some of the people that I've met, I, I was pleasantly or unpleasantly, let me say, surprised and disappointed, you know, because sometimes we can get into this persona, even we as pastors too, get into this persona of it's about us. And so I'm, I, I'm glad to just hear and just feel where you're coming from, but see, because of your attitude, the Lord's pushing you forward. Yes, he's pushing. The flesh don't want to go, but I got to. <laughs> no, well, you know, pushing. it's a faith thing. Yes. So just go on it's and go. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about some of your projects. Now, you have recorded an album, and your album is I Have a Father. Yes. Talk to us about that project. Well, my father passed in 1983, and I was a junior in high school, and it was something that I just could not get over. Even at the funeral, it was just so intense. I didn't even shed any tears. So I needed a release. Mm. And I'm sitting down in my room one day, and I closed my eyes, and the word just, just, he just started talking to me. He just started ministering through me. And he said, I'm going to be there for you. Mm. And that's where that song came. So I have a father who will be there, a precious one. Mm. And he's not going to leave me. He's going to be right there. And my father is in heaven, and also God. So I have both of them up there watching over me, mm. protecting me, and keeping me. I, I feel covered a lot. So that song just was released so I can move on. That is a testimony. And, you know, that's also testament to the gift. Because when you're a songwriter, I guess, sometimes you're almost like a tuning fork. It's like the Lord starts to wrestle with you, you know, makes you wrestle with your spirit and gives you things even when you don't expect them. And it's also an outlet for you to express what the Lord lays on your heart. And so we're all the better for it. Well, she has a fantastic project. I have a father. Twelve selections that will indeed bless you. You can go to the regular places and find it. If you're watching us on this medium, you probably already know about CD Baby, iTunes, Amazon MP3, Google Play, eMusic, Rhapsody, MySpace, Spotify, and all of the other places. You can download this project right now and have it a part of your musical library. But what we're gonna do now is this. We're getting ready to go to break. And for those of you who maybe not be as technologically savvy and who are able to download music and you want to hear just spots and hear some previews of what you will get when you buy this album, we're going to give you a selection live on the air. So we're going to break and when we come back, you're going to hear from Mrs. Greta Thompson Campbell and she's going to be singing a selection off of the album entitled Surrender. Keep it locked right here. This is Black Thought, and I'm your host, Dr. Hutchinson. We're back. This is Black Thought. I'm your host, Dr. Hutchinson, and we have a great treat that's coming to us. You're going to be hearing now from Mrs. Greta Thompson Campbell, and she's going to be singing the wonderful song, Surrender. Tomorrow is not promised Give God your life Tomorrow is not promised It's time to walk in the light 
right Give God your heart and soul Give him complete control Don't let this moment pass away Surrender today God, he hears all of your sorrows. You can make a new start. Don't you worry about tomorrow. He will take you as you are. You just give God your heart and soul. Give him complete control. Don't let this moment pass away. Surrender today. Make up your mind and don't be afraid to give God a chance. All you have to do is say, I am running to your Father, Lord, I fall at your feet. When I meet you at the altar, Lord, make my life complete. I give you my heart and soul. I give you complete control. I can't let this moment pass away. 